Okay, so today we're going to do a little hair curling tutorial. As you can see, my hair uh, dries really crazy. It's very frizzy and poofy. It doesn't matter if I blow it dry or just let it dry naturally, it's pretty much the same. Uh, this just happens to be dried naturally this time. Uh, so if I want my hair to look even a little bit presentable, I have to either curl it or flat iron it. I prefer curling because it, I think it makes it a little more versatile to style afterwards. So we're going to do a little bit of curling. Um, I like to use a one inch barrel the most, so that's what I'm going to use today. So what we do to start out is we separate the hair into pieces, into sections. And we always start from the bottom and work our way up. Okay, now that we have our hair parted and put into sections, we're going to start from the bottom layer and go up with the curls. So get your hair into pieces about this size, and if you have a clamp barrel like this one, you're going to open it up and put it over your hair so that you're going to curl away from your face, and you're just going to pull it a little bit away from the base and curl up, pull out, curl up. Pull out, curl up until you get all of it curled and then just open it lightly and pull it out. If you keep from the base at the start, it'll give you a better curl up top. So again, make sure you, you're curling it away from your face because it'll look much better curled that way. iron which is amazing it's got one base and cord and it's got detachable barrels so you can get all of the different barrel types in one curling iron I'll put a link to where you can buy it in the description done a whole layer of curls and you've let them cool completely it's a good idea to then spray it with hairspray so that they'll set Okay, now that you're done curling all of your hair, you can see that the one inch barrel creates a pretty tight curl. And if you like it like this, you can leave it. You can see what it looks like all the way around. I prefer to loosen it up a little bit, so I use a wide tooth comb and I brush my way through it. And it creates kind of a, a nicer, softer curl. Um, that just looks a little bit sweeter, I think. So you go through all of your hair, and once you have it just like you like it, give it one final spray.